Good morning, Redeemer. Hope you are rejoicing in this day that the Lord has made and given to you and me as a gift, thanking him for the life that he's breathed into our bodies this morning on this special day uh, of worshiping the Lord. Before we get to worshiping, I wanted to make a uh, just an announcement to let you know that we still don't have definite plans about reopening. I can tell you uh, some thoughts we are having. One is that when we open, it will probably look like multiple services uh, with fewer people at each service. We really want to abide by that 20% rule if we can. We're even thinking that it might look like a Saturday evening service with 20 to 30 people that we record so that we're able to send that out uh, as we have been doing to people who aren't yet comfortable uh, gathering together again. And then maybe a couple of worship services on Sunday morning for those who do want to get out. But rest assured, we will let you know uh, as soon as we know and you'll have plenty of advance notice about that. We do know that we can't even think about reopening until all the cleaning supplies uh, that we Emily has ordered quite some time ago arrive. As you can imagine, uh, those are back ordered. So we won't be able to do anything until uh, those shipments come in. But as I said, once we know, you'll know. Now let's put that thought and, and, and how your mind might be uh, planning for us, which is probably not a bad thing. Let's set those things aside so that we can focus our attention uh, on the Lord. This is his day uh, and he deserves our attention. He deserves our worship. And that's what we want to do now. So if you'll take that worship guide, you'll see the call to worship printed there. It's from Psalm 104. If you can, let's stand and go ahead and be called to worship by the voice of the Lord, Psalm 104. Let's read together. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are very great. You are clothed with splendor and majesty, covering yourself as light as with a garment stretching out the heavens like a tent. You set the earth on its foundations so that it should never be moved. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God while I have being. May my meditation be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul, praise the Lord. Let's do that now. Our God is so good. He's ever faithful, ever true, our sure foundation. Once again, he deserves all of the worship, honor, and glory that we can give to him. So, Lord, bless you now as you meet with your God wherever you are in worship. 